Last time I was here, I was on a big uh, stand-up tour with my buddy Adam Devine, right? Workaholics, Pitch Perfect, Modern Family. Yeah, super famous dude. Never traveled with a real famous uh, buddy before. Didn't understand some of the perks that you get to experience, okay? Second night in Nashville, he goes, hey, do you guys want to go to a Kings of Leon concert? I know some of the guys in the band. We can get free tickets, hang out. I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. That's because of where you're at. That's your level of fame. I would love to go to a Kings of Leon concert, you know? And afterwards, if you guys want some free broccoli cheddar soup, um, <laughs> you know, I got a buddy who manages a Panera not too far from here. Okay? Yeah, that's what I can bring to the table. It's not a free concert, but it's free soup. Don't be an asshole about it, you know? <laughs> it's not even free. If my buddy's buddy is working, maybe we can get half off. So we have to really pray for this one. I, uh, I got fucked up that night. I drank a bottle of Patron. I've never done that before. A bottle by myself. I think we've all had these moments. You're feeling good, you're rested. Before you head out, you look in the mirror and you're just like, it's a Hakuna Matata type of night, you know? <laughs> no worries from every aspect of this evening. Get to the uh, green room, all right, where the Kings of Leon are hanging out. There's snacks, there's booze, and I'm sure you're like me, man. If you're hammered and you haven't eaten for a while, you get a very apocalyptic mindset about food. <laughs> I'm in this green room, I haven't eaten for a while. Dude, I see a bowl of Jolly Ranchers. I start shoveling those motherfuckers in my pants. <laughs> Cause, dude, in, in my head, I legitimately was like, if the world ends tonight, I'm gonna need some treats to fucking suck on. <laughs> Dude in the band comes in, sees me doing this, tries to make a lot of the situation. I applaud his effort. He's like, hey man, um, <laughs> leave some for the rest of us, huh? <laughs> and instead of acknowledging his, his attempt to build some rapport, I just look at him and go, <laughs> and kept shoveling Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> like, find your keepers, man. Find your own strawberry rectangles. <laughs> Cut to Courtyard Marriott in Nashville, okay? I'm hammered, I'm home. I'm presented with the, uh, with the snack lounge that these hotels offer up, which are just grocery store leftovers. Lean cuisines, weird looking burritos, and on this particular night, three lonely cans of Chef Boyardee's beefaroni, right? <laughs> yeah, and judging by your reaction, you guys are like, oh, cool, Adam, I didn't even know they were still making that shit. <laughs> yeah, they are, and it's about time you start giving some respect to one of the most prolific Italian chefs of our generation. <laughs> I take three cans up to my room, all right? I'm pumped. I put three cans in one bowl. One bowl is not equipped to hold a half a can of beefaroni. I'm not thinking about the consequences. I'm pumped up. I'm singing, dancing in front of the microwave, pumped about the delicious Italian cuisine I'm about to slam. I'm singing songs. I'm like, I'm about to eat some beefaroni. <laughs> oh, shit. I put it in the microwave for nine and a half minutes. I didn't realize <laughs> that's way too long, man. I take it out, I start walking over to my bed. I trip over my suitcase, because they turn the fucking lights on. Because I had boozy confidence, and I was like, I can see in the dark, Hakuna Matata. <laughs> boozy confidence makes you think outside the box like that. We've all been there. Do my best friend on New Year's this past year, so hammered at the end of the night, he tried to open the front door to his apartment by pressing his iPhone on the door. <laughs> That's boozy confidence. He drank so much tequila, he thought he came home to the future. That's a lot of fucking tequila. <laughs> what? And normally I laugh at that type of behavior, but he's Asian, so I was like, that's not totally impossible for you to think that you can do that. That's not far off. Asians are known for being well ahead of the times, technologically speaking. So when you see an Asian who tried to open a door by pressing a phone on it, we're all standing behind him like, whoa, is that something we can fucking do now? Is that, what are you hiding from us, man? I trip over the bed, beefaroni everywhere, all right? all over the end of the bed. Now, most of you at this point are like, cool, man, you went to bed, you cleaned up the mess, you got a good night's sleep, you started your day the next morning like a decent, normal human being. Yeah, or I slept around the fucking beefaroni sheets, all right? <laughs> you would too, I was fucked up, don't judge me. I picked up two noodles, put them in my mouth, crossed my arms like a vampire. I was like, good night, world, if I see you in the morning. <laughs> you know, not concerned. Get a call from the front desk at 8.30. This is all 1,000% true. 8.30 in the morning, the front desk goes, Mr. Ray, how you feeling? You okay? They go, yeah, man. I was eating Jolly Ranchers with rock stars last night. What the fuck have you done? He's like, all right, you're coming in hot. I'm like, sorry, man, I'm still drunk. Right? <laughs> then he goes, I'm glad you're doing okay, because the maid came in at 8 a.m. and found blood all over your bed sheets. <laughs> Swear to God. I'm in a half-drunk, half-disarrayed state. This is new information to me. I'm like, blood, what the fuck? <laughs> What? Who came in and bled on my bed? That's fucked up. You didn't offer that in the email? <laughs> then I figure out what was up, and I literally say to the dude, oh, no, 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 no. Beefaroni sheets. <laughs> and then there's just silence on the other end of the phone. <laughs> With good reason, because then it hit me. Oh, yeah, you can't just say, no, 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 beefaroni sheets, and expect anybody to understand what the fuck you're talking about. What, I think he was just gonna go, oh, beefaroni sheets, that's every Tuesday. Yeah, thank you. Were you with the Kings of Leon? Of course you were. They always set this up. 
The guy's like, I'm glad you're doing okay. I go, for sure, man, thanks for the concern. I think the bigger question though is, what's going on in the heads of your maids where they can't differentiate between chunky pasta sauce and a possible crime scene, dude? Where are you training these girls? They just come in, take one look at the bed and go, it's a blood, and walk out of the room and not even try to taste one of the meat squares. <laughs> this is how I know I hit rock bottom. He goes, that's probably something we should look into. I appreciate the heads up. But Mr. Ray, before you check out, I'm gonna need you to pay for that beef for Arnie. <laughs> Dude, I go, what? He goes, we have you on security cam. Coming into the courtyard at three in the morning, grabbing three cans of beefaroni off the shelf, fist pumping to yourself, and tripping into the elevator. I was like, fuck yeah, dude, that's how I roll. Clearly you've never had beefaroni before, because I was... 